I'm Sonic Cariel, and this is going to be a complete high-level tutorial from beginning to end on how to create your agency. A little bit about me and why you should follow this curriculum is because it's going to show you step by step exactly what to do from beginning to end. I retired out of the Air Force after 20 years doing cybersecurity. And although I'm financially successful in cybersecurity, I decided to build this brand for digital marketing that helps me leverage my passion. I enjoy business and I enjoy marketing and I do have a cybersecurity background as well. So this dovetails really nicely with my master's in business administration. So I enjoy coaching businesses, helping business websites for them, solving problems. And I am working on my computer science doctoral program right now. So I do understand the technical aspects of it as well. So here we go. The first thing you should ask yourself is how much can you actually make out of this? As in, what is the return on investment? You're going to put in a lot of time and spend your own money to set this thing up. And you want to be able to know what is the light at the end of the tunnel look like? So the first thing is step one, find your skill level. I put this small little chart together real quick before this video, and you want to put yourself in one of these three categories. Either you're a noob, you're brand new, you know nothing, you have no clients, you maybe made a website once or twice, you have no sales, you haven't run an ad campaign before, and you don't know what a workflow is. Sound about right? That's where I was as well. That's where everybody begins. So don't feel bad. You can still jump into this program. Just realize you're going to make a little bit less at the beginning. Once you build your skills a little bit more, build your experience, then you can consider yourself a player in the game. You might have one to 10 clients. You might have a website. You have some sales. You understand what ad campaign is like Facebook or Google ads. And then you run maybe a few automation workflows where somebody sends a message to the business, a workflow executes, and then an AI agent responds with appropriate calendar invites and so on. And then if you've done that for a few, then you can consider yourself a coach. The upside is pretty much endless because as you get more clients and you start becoming a bottleneck, you can then hire additional folks and have a team and then subcontract all of this out for yourself. So if you fall into one of those categories, I put together a step two where you can decide how much to charge because ultimately the customers are paying for your experience and quality of work. So if you're on the noob side, you're probably going to charge the smaller amounts in these different packages. If you're a player, you can be somewhere in the middle and then coach obviously on the higher side and perhaps multiple X higher than the higher side. So this is just a guide for you to understand what your return on investment could be. Of course, it all depends on how much you want to charge, how much customers are willing to pay you, what your sales skills are, and so on and so forth. In this program, we're not only going to build agencies, we're also going to understand how to communicate with customers, how to do sales, how to upsell, how to follow up and lead teams and manage businesses. So if you're comfortable with this, let's move on. GoHighLevel.com. Interesting fact, their company name is actually High Level. So you'll see this on the screen, but when you go to their website, it's Go High Level. And folks that have built a website before and bought a domain know exactly what's going on there. Back when they first started, the GoHighLevel.com domain was much cheaper. It was $10 probably. HighLevel.com, two words, probably a little bit more expensive. And so they went with Go High Level and it just stuck. Anyway, this is the website for High Level. When you come over here, you have this option of 14 day free trial. What you're going to do is use my link, which is in the description. You can certainly use anybody else's as well. But if you use mine, I get a commission off of that. And in return, I offer you access to my school community, hundreds of automations that I'll show you. All of the workflows, websites, snapshots that we build together in this curriculum are going to be yours to import. Import. Plus, if you're in my school community, I'll hop on a Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. Additionally, as my workload increases, I'm always looking for talent to join my agency where you'll get majority of the share for every client that walks in. So with that said, you'll plug in the affiliate link in the URL up top and then click on 14 day free trial. It's going to ask you to fill out some information here. So let's come up with a name. I have one already called Sonic Combinator for this particular test agency. And so let's give it a name and then an email that I have built as well. And then a phone number that is legitimate and can receive text messages and then go to step two. So you have a couple of options here, 97 starter plan or 297. Go with the 297 because this is a 14 day free trial. You're not getting charged anything. And for the steps and tasks that we need to accomplish, it's only available in the 297 plan and then sign up. And of course, just remember within 14 days, come back and cancel the subscription or you will get charged. Okay, you hit go on that, thinks about it for a second, and then authorizes on your card. And now you can enter password that meets the requirements. Let's go with that one. And then it is going to send you an email to make sure that you are who you say you are. Okay, I actually have to update my email because I got it wrong. Should have been Sonic Combinator at Gmail. Okay, got my code. Enter that. And then also going to text you a code to verify your phone number. 
Let's do that as well. Let's enter that. Okay, we got that correct as well. So here we go. Let's put in our address. So I do have an address for this setup. Once you have your address in there, hit continue. You can pick as a marketing agency to provide services to clients. Hit continue. Do you plan to resell high level? You know, you can say yes if you want. Gives you the option to sell it. And then what industry are you in? We might have something like a marketing agency. Here we go. Hit continue. Then how many clients are you managing so far? Probably zero. Let's just go with one to three. There's also a, I don't have a customer yet. What would you like to focus on first? Okay. Let's just say build a funnel to capture and then continue. These are other platforms that you may be using that you can integrate with high level. So it has HubSpot, for example, another CRM, Calendly, if you already have that, or if you have a website on WordPress, now's the time to select these. But for us, we're just going to skip it and say, set up my account. Okay. This is where it can take you to a, a Zoom call and they'll help you set up your agency from beginning to end, but that's what you're getting over here for free. So I would just stick with not, you can always go back and get the training as well from their support. You go up here to the top, right? Say need help. And then you have the ability to jump into a Zoom call with them. Okay. So we sped through that pretty quickly. You're going to land on this page right here. And maybe you have a business name already. Maybe you don't. So let's figure that out first. So if you don't have a business name, you can, you can go to any one of the LLMs, large language models and say, give me a catchy business name for a marketing agency. Let's say, give me 10. I'm just using perplexity pro right now, which they actually have a one year free subscription for anybody that wants it. So here we go. We got some ideas, growth, spark, elevate, thrive. You can pick whichever one. And if you pick one, let's say you like thrive flow. It's pretty cool. Two words, anything easy to roll off the, the tongue which I don't know if Thrive Flow is. How about Vision Plus? That sounds a little bit better. Let's go Vision Plus. Sounds like an optometrist. But what happens when you have a name and you go and create a website for it, but then you go to create the social media platforms for it and it's already taken. So then you have to pick like one at the end or, you know, one dash two or whatever the case is. So one of the other websites that I built is called agentrage.com. And on there, I have this brand checker available specifically for this. So you click on brand checker plug in your company name and hit check availability. It'll go through and look at all of the social media sites and domain registrars and tell you if that name is taken or not. So in this case, Vision Pulse is actually taken by, it's on all of the social media sites and then the .com domain is taken as well. So I wouldn't pick that one. You could probably come over here and pick your own. Like I am going to use Sonic Combinator that I actually set up for this one. So just to confirm that this thing does what, it, what I'm saying it does, it should say that it's taken, soniccombinator.com. Here you go. Yeah, that's taken. And I'm on X, Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and Snapchat. That's right. GitHub and threads. Okay. Yeah, pretty accurate. So try it here. And that way, at least, you know, your name is available before you go and spend the 12 bucks or whatever it is to buy the domain. Now let's go back to high level and let's get. So if you don't have your domain yet and you need to purchase it, you can come into your sub account right here, Sonic Combinator and go over to settings and then go over to domains and URL redirects. And that's going to open up this page domains. And you can purchase a domain here if you need to buy one now, or if you already own one, let's say you got one off of GoDaddy or Namecheap, then you can connect that domain over here. So let's just say purchase domain, just so we kind of go through the steps here. And let's say you found that amazing domain, vision, all extraordinary, and then say search. And so vision pulse extraordinary is available. And so you can buy that one for $12 a year and you hit buy, and then you go through the purchase process. And then it says, congratulations, the domain is yours. Okay. Then for the other folks who already have a domain, come over here and just say, connect to domain. And then you're going to connect your website and then put in the domain that you had purchased. In my case, let's say sonicombinator.com and then continue. And then what it's going to do is give you the DNS records, the domain name service, and you're going to take these records and put them in your registrar. So that way, whoever wants to go to your domain is going to be pointed to your high level website that you have hosted here. So what you do is you grab the A record and the host is at, and the required value is this IP address. You hit copy. In my case, I'm on GoDaddy. So this is an example. You would walk into GoDaddy, go over to a domain and click on DNS over here. And then one by one, you're going to add each record that they gave you. If you recall, they gave us two records. You hit add new record. First one was a record and it was at, and then the value, which I'm going to say control V and paste it in there. Half hour is fine. Time to live. That's just how often your DNS will refresh and then hit save. And then you'll go back, grab the other one, which is CNAME, www, and then copy this one. 
So let's go back to this time it would be C name, www, and then you would paste it here and then hit save. And then you would have two records in here. So anytime somebody navigates to your domain name, whatever that is on the internet, first it's going to go to GoDaddy and say, hey, where's this domain? And then GoDaddy is going to look at its record and say, hey, this domain lives over here, which is another name for high level. And that's how traffic will get pushed over to you. Seems a little complicated. It's not very just if you have a question, you know, ask me in the comments below or hit me up on my school community. After your DNS records are set up, next up is we need a logo that we can replace this high level logo with. So if you come over to Google Gemini and they have this really cool, nice little tool now called Nano Banana and it creates images and it creates really nice ones. So you can say, give me a business logo for and then whatever your business name is. And look at that. That's pretty neat. Sonic Combinator, it's got the S, it's got the gears. I'd probably just, in the beginning, it's not so important to have the perfect logo. Don't spend so much time on this editing and cropping and picking the colors. As you start building some traction and building some followings, then you can go clean up your logo. In the beginning, you just need a placeholder. Grab the first one. If you're totally unhappy, like the colors just bother you, make a second one, but don't spend too much time on this. Up in the top right, we're just gonna download this. We have it on our computer. Let's go back to high level. And this time we're gonna go into our agency view, which is up here, you click here, and then switch to agency view and then settings down here. And then this is where we upload the image. So if you hit upload logo and then grab your logo and now we have it there. And you can see it got updated as well. Now, if you do wanna change your background to make it look like it stands out, scroll down. There's a light theme over here and then your logo is gonna stick out a little bit more. And you can play around with that. You can replace the background and do all sorts of cool things to make your logo stick out. I think that's great, but only when you have a little bit of a following. The most important thing is to get your first client and have them start paying you. Speaking of paying, let's go over to Stripe, which is down here. And we're going to set up our integration so that we can start accepting payments. Stripe is really easy to work with. It's a very popular processor. It does charge up to 3%, I believe, per transaction, but it is available in most countries. If it's not available in your country, just do a little bit of Google searching. You can also integrate it with Zapier and have different payment processors around the world work with high level. Stripe is just available in here. So we're going to go ahead and hit connect your Stripe account. Now, two things to remember. One is if you already have a Stripe account, you can simply connect it by entering your email associated with your Stripe account. If you don't have a Stripe account, you want to go to stripe.com. This is what stripe.com looks like, and you can create an account. So if you already have an account, which looks like I do, I can just go ahead and log in. You can also just sign up with Google if you already have a Gmail and it'll make your sign up a little bit easier and much easier to remember your username and password because you're going to be doing that a lot. Once you log into your Stripe account, it asks you if you want to set up your bank account, go ahead and set that up. So that way when the funds come into your Stripe account, they will then move over to your bank account and then you can use that money. Once you have your Stripe account set up, come back over to high level and then enter the email address associated with your Stripe account. I'm just gonna use my Sonic Solutions and hit connect. And there you go, simple as that. So if you had set up your Stripe account correctly and you connected from high level, you'll see this payout option as connected. Your account is verified and that you have a balance of zero. So what we want to do is get that balance up. Next, let's work on some email domains. So when you are communicating with external parties, it's important to email them from your domain. Spend a little bit of money and set up a Google Workspace account. So let's go over to Google Workspace. The actual domain is workspace.google.com and you'll land on this page. Look for Google Workspace in the top left and then say, get started and then put in your business name, how many people you are. You're just gonna say just you because Google does charge per member of your team. So just keep it to you. And then it will cost about $16 per month. So you are gonna spend a little bit of money if you want this, but it does help you look legit when you're emailing folks. Next up is setting up a limited liability company or an LLC. This is to legitimize your business. For that, you can come over to LegalZoom. I'm not an attorney or representing one. You can set up your own business here if you'd like to register, or you can go to your state's government website where you can also register one. For example, I'm in Florida, so I would go to sunbiz.org, or you can just Google and say, how do I register an LLC in state? And then put your name of the state. So I like LegalZoom, it's pretty simple. You just come over here and it'll actually say, start my business. And you can just click on that. And then you want to start a limited liability company. It's the most common one. Just go with it until your tax attorney tells you to do otherwise. Then you would enter your business name, hit next, go through the wizard. And then ultimately it's going to ask you for a registration fee. Every state is a little bit different. 
I think in Florida, it's about $100. Last I heard in California, it's like $900. Go ahead and set up your business and then you're good to go. Now, one of the benefits of having high level is you are essentially an agency for other businesses. So you're a business to business type model. And so let's say you have a client that's an electrician. That electrician can now log in to a portal that you provide them on high level. It will simply go up to their URL, enter app.yourdomain.com, and then they will access your particular portal. So the way to set that up, instead of having the go high level default, which is app.gohighlevel.com, you wanna change that to your domain. So go ahead and come over to settings and hit company and hit white label. And then in here, there's a domain section, and this is where you're going to enter your own domain. So in my case, it was soniccombinator.com, for example. While over here, I can also enter my policy URL and my terms and conditions URL. You may not have this right now, but if you do already have these links, you can go ahead and put those in there and save changes. But later, we will come back and enter these together. This is where you can also put custom JavaScript if you want all sorts of cool looks you may have seen online where folks have nice and blue colors and the background is a different color. I have done that to my other agency. I can certainly show it to you when we get to that point. But for now, avoid doing any kind of customization. At most, what you can do is change the light theme, like I mentioned, and the dark theme. Keep it really, really simple. Hit save changes, and now your domain is set up. Now your customers can go to app. In my case, soniccombinator.com, and in your case, whatever domain that is. So yes, it is cool, but you don't want to mess around with customization. And some customers may just find it really tacky. They just want a very simple layout. So maybe I'll even change this. So hopefully this is all making sense right now. If I'm going too fast or too slow, let me know. If you have any questions or need clarification, what we're going to do next is work on setting up a phone so customers can now start calling your agency. So stay tuned. If you want to try your hand at doing this yourself instead of just watching, you can use my high-level affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, you get an extended 30-day high-level trial, hundreds of pre-built AI agents, access to my school community, 40-plus business and marketing courses that I've built. You'll have all of my website template that you've seen me create. I'll even hop on a live Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. You'll have a direct line to me and also a chance to join my agency and run some of these businesses that I have, as well as take on my client. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.